Now, our reporter, Tabi Sositole, had a sit-down with the newly appointed joint head coach of Mamelodi Sundowns, and that is Mangova Mngiti, and they discussed a range of matters as well as issues. Let's now listen in on that interview. Coach, thank you indeed for joining us. Uh, I think a congratulations are in order. Um, head coach or joint head coaches for Mamelodi Sundowns after a stellar, stellar season. Very big decision that the president took. And we really appreciate the support and the confidence that he has shown in us. And we hope to try our level best to, to make him proud. It's a tough ask, Coach, after a particularly good season where you basically cleaned up shop. The mandate starts with defending that treble. Uh, we've seen new acquisitions already from Mamelodi Sundowns. You want to hit you know, the ground running, so to speak, in the league that starts in just under 14 days. Yeah, it's a tough one considering the, the amount of time prior to the matches. We only have two weeks and most of our players, I uh, think about eight are internationals that will not be part of the first week of training. But uh, one is optimistic that we can get this thing together and uh, hit the ground running. You've been a, 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 a stalwart of South African football, if you can put it that way, having done our uh, well, I think four or five other Premier Soccer League clubs that you've coached, Mamluri Sundowns, you've been there for a while now as assistant to Peter Musimane. The, the match has been handed over to yourselves and Rulani uh, Mukwena. Uh, you we understand the statement that if there's any sort of uh, Nazwani, that you have the last to say, so to speak. How are we going to get around that, that, that hurdle, if I can call it that way, of two joint head coaches? Uh, first, maybe to just to cut it down to an education level. Uh, a position to me is the lowest point or the lowest level of leadership. Uh, be it uh, Coach Lani was the head coach or I was the head coach, uh, to me that never really means anything. It's like a father who, who will always want to tell his kids that uh, I'm the father here, you must respect, you must do this. When you have to tell us that you are our father, we know that you are our father. So it's a sign that maybe there are things that you are not doing right. Uh, ever since I started coaching, I was fortunate with Marisbeck City where I started. I worked with four coaches, which was Tamu Tadla, Regishelembe, Tami Mashanze, and uh, Mshanga, Madondo. Then I went to Golden Arrows. In my tenure at Arrows, I made sure that I've got two assistant coaches in Mandan Lugas and and uh, Reis, Luis Reyes from Brazil. Uh, I've always had this at Amazula, at Fani Madita and, uh, and Fire. So for me, a position is not the most important thing. What is more important is to try and reach a level where we go beyond the position. We try to reach the second level of leadership, which is permission, where people want to be led by you. Uh, because that's the most important part where people now accept that under your leadership, we, we think we can grow, we can become better, we can achieve more things. And uh, that is what I'm hoping to, to, to inspire all the people that I work with because I'm one person that believes in, a, in teamwork and harmony and unity. So I, I strongly believe the relationship I have with uh, Coach Ulani uh, will speak for itself because uh, We've been in this club for too long now. We understand each other better. Uh, but the most important thing is, it's not about the position. It's about what a person can deliver at any given stage. To me, it does not bother. And if you can even ask uh, the former boss at Golden Arrows, when they wanted to give me the position of a head coach, I said, even if you were to get, to get someone else, I would not mind. And when I was given the chance to, 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 to be the head coach, I also employed a whole lot of people under, under my, my, my guidance and my leadership uh, because I want to believe when you get an opportunity in a big club like my Melody Sundowns, you must give it your best shot and try to surround yourself with the best people that can be there. And with me and Coach Lani and the rest of the technical team, I think the club is still safe. So where does one start, Coach? I know that you, you still just got the announcement as uh, the new head coach, uh, joint head coaches or Sundowns. Where does one start? Uh, do you want to put your stamp, uh, the Mangoma stamp on the team? Uh, or do you say, look, 
as it stands. Don't fix anything that is not broken. You'll take it every day as it, as it comes. This is a new season, my brother. We've, we've brought in quite a, a lot of new players to try and uh, bring the team back again stronger. The goals have not been coming as much as we would have loved. We are coming from very, a big number of goals when we won the league with 71 points. Coach Pizzo has done a lot of good work. We must never take that away from him. Uh, and we, we, we know that he'll be sorely missed and we are not here to try and, re and replace him. We are here to try and do the best that we can to make sure that Sundowns still stays on top and it achieves whatever that we would like to see it achieving. And if God is willing, it will all happen. The mandate is to retain the travel from the board and the president, but obviously uh, going up to the continent is where you'd also like to see yourself take Sundowns to and hopefully meet the former Sundowns coach somewhere up there in the CAF Champions League. To be honest, for a team like Sundowns, it has always been a clear mandate that you, you want to win every match that you play. Be it is a friendly match, be it is a preseason match, or training match, you, you always have to strive to, to win. And that's what we've been living with. That's what we've always worked towards. And that's what we believe we've got the capacity to, to achieve. And I'm optimistic that there's nothing that can stop us from achieving that if we remain united and we keep working hard. Uh, it's not about luck, it's about the number of hours that you put in and make sure that you achieve what you whatever that you want to achieve. Coach, thank you very much for your time, sir. Thanks, man. Now, moving on, Ethiopia's Shure.